Uh, so we're going to have a look at the Playfair code. With this we have a, a secret key and what we do is we build up a 5x5 five five matrix as there's 26 letters in the English alphabet uh, we get rid of one of them and it's probably one of the least probable letters in a message so we use G. It should be obvious if a G is missing where it should actually go in any decoded message. So we lay out the letters with inside the key without repeating them. So in this case Napier run, uh, we would have had an N here but we've already put an N in so we wouldn't include it. Then we lay out the letters without repeating so an A would have went in there so we don't have to include that. An E would have went in here so we've already got an E and so on. Then what we do is we take our, our plain text message and split it up into two character strings and then we'll encode each one at a time. The three rules are if the uh, two characters are on different rows and columns then we'll draw a rectangle around them and then we'll take the outer bounds, the opposite ends of our rectangle from our, our code. So in this case we have a G and an R so the G would become an F and the R would become a U. So we have FU and then the next one is the EA so if the uh, characters are on the same row we'll take one letter along so an E there's nothing there so we'll just roll round to then becomes an N and an A becomes a P the same with this one here the T becomes an M and the S becomes a T the other row that we have if, if they're on the same column then we'll take one letter so if it's CK we'd take a K and then we'd take an, an S ok so let's look at an example of this. Okay, so just to check that we're okay, uh, let's put in the example. And we see there's the result. This gives us our matrix here. And if we want, hopefully, we can take the play fair, apply the key and do it in the opposite direction and it comes back perfectly. Obviously the the matrix that we use is the same no matter which way we actually do it. So there are some test vectors that you can use to be able to make sure that it's working correctly. So here is a, a key of play fair example and then hide the gold in the tree stump. So this is the code that produces and we just make sure that that's the same code as we get from here. Okay, so this shows a worked example for us. There's the there's the trans translation across the column, and so on. And if we look, then we should have the same code. B M and then ends with I F. B M ends with I F. OK, so there's a, there's a number of other ones that you can try. This one gives us the result of our example.